Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Daniela here. So today I've got a plan with me for the week of Valentine's Day, which is the 14th of February until the 20th. And I'm just gonna move these guys out of the way quick and then show you the kit that I hope to use this week or that I plan on using this week. Um, I have gone ahead and pre-planned um, some of my kits for the year. I do change it up every now and again. Like last week I added in an extra sticker book from the Happy Planner. But um, this week we're going to use a kit from Simply a Mess. And um, this is kind of a funny week because it's my brother-in-law's birthday, but it's also Valentine's week. Um, but he's super musical, so I thought it'd be really fun to use this mixtape um, as my full box for the corner. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to fill in the rest because I do memory plan in this planner as well. But it is a full kit. The only sticker that I used was for the first week in this planner um, for my anniversary week. Um, it was just a quote box that said, and I thought I loved you then. Now, I do have a few extra stickers to pull in. These are all from the Prairie Planner. So I've got a foil overlay, and these are all rose gold foil. I've got my no spend script for my sidebar stickers. Um, I've got a payday sticker, a uh, second weekend, or sidebar sticker. And then I decided to go with this uh, foiled weekend banner because it's a bit more delicate. And instead of the thick washi tape that come with the kit, even though it's super duper cute, I want to use some Simply Gilded. So I found this nice uh, blue and then this heart and star one from Simply Gilded um, just in my stash. So I think I might put one on the top and one on the bottom just to kind of split them up a little bit, but we'll see. I might just use the hearts, I'm not sure. Um, I do have some dots for the bottom. I'm not sure if I'll film that part or not, but this is a gold foil and this is just, um, I like the greens. They kind of match with the kit and then of course the pinks. And then I've got my gratitude sticker, my wacky holidays from 2019 and my holidays for Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to start with the sidebar. I'm just going to Take a seat. Save my back a bit. Um, I always start standing up just so that I can make sure that I'm showing you guys everything and that it's all in focus. And I think that's straight. Her stickers are removable, so that's kind of nice. Now I need to put this on. And this is the test of all tests. Um, it's just a little foil overlay. Um, I thought it'd be cute kind of add it in there but I always have a hard time getting it centered okay that's good and I like the addition that that brings makes it a little bit more special okay um let's see this kit do we have I don't think I'm going to use any more of these right now do we have headers oh we do this week oh perfect some blue I like that I like that you added blue and green to this kit um because it's still kind of Valentine's y, but it could also just be like for an anniversary or even travel to Paris because there's a lot of Paris references. Um, but yeah, so I kind of like that it's very versatile. So that's for my dinners. And then I'm going to do this one and this one. So I do two habit trackers per week now. Um, and then, oh, I might be able to fit the third. Interesting, I wonder if her boxes are a little shorter. I do white this part out, just because these boxes tend to be a little see-through. So yes, it looks like I can put, oh no, another habit tracker down, is that straight? Straight as it'll ever be. Oh, except I put the blue one last. Of course. So let's move the pink one down. Unless I put a leading tracker. Let's do that. Let's change it up. I don't think she has one in her kit. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I'm going to grab a currently reading sticker. I've been enjoying using them. I just don't know what color. Maybe I should just go neutral and go gray. Oh, I could use that. I'm gonna swap, because this is basically that color. So I'm gonna swap the habit trackers around. Let's see. <laughs> I'm getting 
getting back into the groove of pre-filming some of my videos. As you guys know, my husband is a nurse. And that means he is... Um, his schedule, I know it fairly far in advance. So let's put that no spend one there. And so... It's getting bulky already. My goodness. So because I know his schedule so far in advance, I am able to pre-plan. And actually because he does shift work, it's harder to plan once a week anyways. So I do set up the, the base of my, um, my weeks and get it all ready to go. So it's kind of nice. Um, I'm going to use... What other boxes do we have? I'm just looking for one up here to mark Valentine's. I might just use this floral one here. I think that'll work. He's actually off on Valentine's Day, which is kind of cool. I appreciate when he's off on kind of fun holidays like that. Um, oh, was I going to put washi up there too? Oh shoot. That's where my brain's working, guys. Or that's how my brain's working. <laughs> okay. Um, I would not need very much. There we go. I think I'll do blue up top. Just to add a little bit of foil at the top. I think it'd be cute. And then I have been putting my weather up top, which is why I decided to white out the um, Valentine's up at the top there. I haven't been using date covers and I'm not not mad about it. Um, I haven't actually been using washi up top very often either but since it's a week with a kind of special holiday I figured why not. Um, yeah let's see where did I put it? Oh there it is. Like I said I'm doing some batch filming so my desk has kind of become a disaster zone. But I'm very excited to have content out for you guys again. Um, if you haven't seen my last few videos, I did upload in January, I hope. Um, kind of an update of which planner I'm using, um, which would be this one, obviously. And also one for journaling, which is not actually a planner. Um, I do have one for work, though, which has been fantastic been really enjoying working from home a little bit and kind of um, doing the self-employed life, yeah. <laughs> Basically. I'm still working for someone, um, but she's super flexible. She's super, super sweet. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I could not have asked for a better experience um, for my first kind of gig um, working from home. Oops. So that's been really exciting. And yeah, I'm just getting to the groove. I have been filming more again. Um, just getting back out of that post-Christmas funk, you know? I mean, I know it's February now. It's like, lady, it's been like a month and a half. What are you so griping about? But um, it took me a while to like kind of feel normal again post Christmas. I don't know. I was just in this bubble over Christmas and then all of a sudden nothing. Now I got this off of a foiled bundle from the Prairie Planner this weekend sticker and I broke it. <clears throat> I know. Or I started it started to rip because it's so delicate. So I'm just gonna place it gently and I know that's not oh well, it's actually pretty centered but it's pretty far down. But that's Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, there's a little bit of a rip up there. And then my payday is actually on Tuesday. Okay, and like I said, I'm not, or like I said last week, and yes, I do have two pairs of tweezers, sorry. Um, I have linked them both down below, hopefully by this point. Um, but like I said last week, I'm not gonna make you watch me painfully um, white out every single time on these 
on this plan with me because I already took ages filming last week. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, I felt like a newbie all over again, but to be fair, it's been a few weeks since I last filmed, so that's probably why it feels a little clunky again, um, but I mean, I could prepare my planner a bit better, I guess, than just have everything ready to go, but oh well. I'll live and learn. Live and learn. Six o'clock. Um, I've been leaving a bit more space down below, as you can see. Um, I started last week, and because I'm batch filming today or tonight, technically, um, I don't know how it's working out yet. <laughs> but I am excited to have that extra room down there. I have a couple ideas as to how I want to use it. Um, okay, so I work twice. I think I want to use the smaller flags because I just have to mark in the work. Um, yeah. And then she does have checklists, which is fantastic. But before I do that, I should mark my... I've got a birthday this week. I want to make sure I mark that. I don't know about you guys, I put birthdays at the very top of the day that they're on. Um, just because that's how I do it, because it's an all day thing for me. And then I'm going to use a little box for church. They're not little, but smaller. I do like that her paper is removable, I like her sticker paper. Um, I've had problems with my removable stickers before. Um, but very, very happy with that. Um, okay, cherry pie day. Oh, yes, please. And I know this kind of covers up the washi tape quite a bit, and I'm going to have to move these up. But you know what? That's how I decided to go with it. Kind of fun and add some cuteness um, at the top of my planner so above the dates here I have been going in on Sunday nights and putting in my weather um, which has been really nice just to have a quick glance at the planner and be like oh yeah it's that weather today or hmm, great more rain <laughs> yeah generally where I live it's either rainy or not rainy that's always fun. I'm going to move that guy up a bit more. Yep. So, 16th. And the 15th. And I really like using these little stickers down at the bottom just to kind of add a little something more to the week. Um, Next, I should add my husband's little emoji guys. Oh, I could use these ones then. Okay, so I'm going to use the ones from Earth Love Munchkins. I'm going to use the blue. I should use the blue on the pink. <laughs> and then I'll use a couple of pink ones because we've got two pinks. And I know it's not an exact match for the pink, but it will be fine. And I'll just cover up the five o'clock with his head. <laughs> and I'll use a green on this side. Mix it up a bit. And then I will grab my work scripts. I'm going to use more of a block lettering, which I've got from Alley Cat's shop. Actually, I have to order more of these at some point. I know there, when you guys are watching this, there will have been a Made in Canada sale um, the week prior to this. Hence the no spend for this week. <laughs> no. 
Um, doing much better with budgeting, doing much better with using what I have, but if there are stickers that I need and the sales coming up, I'm definitely um, ordering what I know I will use so that I have enough to get me to the next sale. Put that in the spot. Um, let's see, how are we seeing time wise? Okay, about 15 minutes. So let's end here and I'm going to add these dot stickers to the bottom and I noticed that there were some within the um, deco here as well but I'm not going to painfully do that for you guys um, and I'm going to do whiting out of all the dates and all or times and all that as well but I really like how this is turning out I'm going to try and be good about using my foil and pulling in more foil throughout the week um, just to add that little extra bit of sparkle. I didn't have any birthday foil stickers otherwise I would have added one um, at least not in rose gold but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me if you did hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this one hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one bye